be the jello rapper. Nah, 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 nah. That's what I do. Payback, ladies and gentlemen, and it's Orton and Bray Wyatt in a House of Horrors match. And speaking of House of Horrors, that's a maneuver out of the House of Horrors playbook. Bray Wyatt just took Randy Orton for a ride on that DDT. And I have to say, that was electrifying. I gotta say, one person who would not approve of that maneuver being the first move executed in a match would be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold has mentioned multiple times on his podcast that he does not like when he sees the DDT as a transition maneuver. Instead, it should be not only match ending, but it could potentially be career ending. You want to talk about Ricky Steamboat and Jake the Snake Roberts. Jake the Snake took Ricky and plummeted his head right into the concrete floor. That could have been career threatening, and we used to look at DDTs in a vastly different way. Now, DDTs uh, ever since The Rock used it as a transition maneuver, is now seen as almost a comeback and or traditional transition maneuver. Not something that Stone Cold likes. But as you saw, the way this match begun, it was all Bray Wyatt executing that DDT. As Bray Wyatt continues to work on the WWE Champion. The House of Horrors match, of course, came about once Bray Wyatt manipulated a stage technician at WrestleMania 33 to have the lighting work in his favor. Uh, the match was a mess, absolutely. It was sort of positioned on the card in which it was definitely, no matter how good of a match it was going to be, was not going to be a barn burner. And Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt ended up having a bit of a snooze fest. Those two guys are just not meant to have a WrestleMania quality matchup. The two lack a little bit of chemistry, but hopefully at WWE Payback, that is going to change. As Randy Orton looking to maintain his reign as the WWE Champion. Bray Wyatt, again, probably going to be looking to manipulate and coerce those stage technicians to play his game so that the House of Horrors match has an actual gimmick to it. But I don't think that's going to work. You manipulate, you bribe, you coerce a stage technician once. What are you going to have to do to get, to get that stage technician to do what you want him to do next? Randy Orton in big trouble now as Bray Wyatt continues to work away. This is a House of Horrors match. Although I am not seeing anything out of the ordinary right now. The House of Horrors is Bray Wyatt. And I gotta say, the match stipulation? Probably nothing more than clickbait. As Randy Orton now looking to battle the manipulation. Battle the attempts of Bray Wyatt trying to end this. Oh boy! Orton exploding. And the House of Horrors, I gotta say, knocked down the referee. That's House of Horrors enough. As Bray Wyatt now in big trouble. Yeah. Randy Orton collapsing Bray Wyatt. Could potentially be what he needs. To maintain his reign as the WWE Champion. A nice angle slam tribute to WWE Raw General Manager. The returning Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. And Bray Wyatt now doing what he can to beat Randy Orton. He wants to get the gold back. 
But it's going to be difficult because Bray Wyatt now is on the A Show. Monday Night Raw, Randy Orton still on SmackDown. This could be a transitional period for that championship. The Universal title may be headed to SmackDown. The WWE title headed to Raw. We don't know the circumstances of what's going to happen and how it's going to unfold. All I know is that this is a House of Horrors match. We went from the ultimate thrill ride to now the House of of horrors match and Bray Wyatt now looking to finish Orton once and for all he couldn't get the job done even manipulating the stage technicians couldn't do the job and oh boy an RKO out of nowhere Randy Orton has combated his fears and maintained his reign as the WWE champion Congratulations to Randy Orton, who got his payback from all the mind games that Bray Wyatt tried to play with him. I don't think so. House of Horrors or not, Randy Orton is still your WWE Champion, and he stays right where he belongs on SmackDown Live. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this, please, boom, give it the thumbs up. See you.